Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday, guys. This is April coming at you again with another segment. Y'all, it's like raining cats and dogs out here, Lord. It's raining. And I want everybody who's commuting to be safe. Please be safe um, going to work, going to and from work if it's raining um, in your area. I know where I'm going, it's raining. So I'm definitely um, going to be careful, guys. Um, I just want to come at you come at you this morning, guys. Just, you know, talk on my way, going to work. Um, you know, just chop it up with you, talking about some of the things that, you know, our society is facing, some of the things that we're going through. Um, with, I, in my, um, where I live, you know, I haven't witnessed or experienced um, any, you know, crime or shootings or anything like that. But I would like, um, I'm still taking it seriously. And I, you know, like to pray for the families who have, you know, who lost their child in these senseless acts but guys you know we can take away from that you know being that we're not in that particular area or that community guys we have to um be more engaged on what our kids are doing and what they have access to guys this the all these senseless crime and it's this you know guys we have to teach start you know th th those those are our kids and like i say they are the next generation we have to um, bear down as parents to show um, kids the right way of doing things. Why do they have access to weapons? Why are they, you know, like, okay, like the Ricky Smiley show, why are the kids going around? Uh, and the thing about the sagging of the pants and, and you know, the kids, you know, just acting all sorts of kind of ways in public, you guys, that, that do start at home. You know, we have to be more aware of you know what our children are doing you know who they're hanging around with their um mannerisms and stuff like that we, we do have to start you know being more engaged with our kids and teaching them you know what i'm saying about crime because they have to travel even though it's not affecting us in our community but we still have to teach them that this goes on in other communities you know innocent people getting you know robbed killed raped stuff like that you know we have to be more on the front, forefront with that you know with our kids and teach them you know the thing a lot of stuff is modeling what they see on tv off the videos stuff that not real they're trying it themselves you know we might have to you know just like monitor what our kids are watching what games they're playing stuff like that you know we we have to do better and even as adults you know um we have to be if we have um concealed weapons in our home because that is part of castle law even if you don't have a weapons conceal a permit conceal permit you're still allowed to have weapons in your home in your car in case an intruder someone break into your home or car you know that's your right and that's how you protect yourself but guys even with these weapons we have to have this stuff stored to where our kids, they, they're not allowed to play with that. We have to teach them about the correct way safety. You know, it's not about riding around and just balagating, shooting, playing with a gun. You know, we have to teach our kids the proper way. Why do we use weapons? What's the, the, the importance and the purpose of a weapon? Why do we protect ourselves? And, you know, and I agree, there's a lot of, you know, single mom, you know, uh, husbands may, you know, work away from the home and, you know, we're there with the kids. We need to protect ourselves. So I'm all about, you know, self-protection and and having a weapon, but in the right manner. You know, you don't have it laying around. You don't have it to where, have it, know where you, you, you need to know, have a place where you know your weapon is, have it loaded just in case someone comes into your home and you can be able to handle that situation, but it should not be in reach with kids. You need to have that conversation with them about concealed weapons, you know, how to protect yourself. You know, um, I mean, it's, it's senseless, you know, with the pandemic and the things people are doing, it's, it's, not, it's not adding up. And I know, you know, we're living in these times now we're living in crazy times. The world is getting darker. And we have to use common sense, good judgment, along with, you know, you, you can protect yourself, but use common sense. Be be mindful about stuff. You know, just 
be mindful about your surroundings and area. You know, you have to scan that closely too. You know, you have to be careful about stuff that looks suspect. You know, me personally, I'm, you know, I'm a, a, a lady and I'm very careful where I travel. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not stuff place that looks secluded and, and I travel, sometimes I travel alone. I have my family, depends on where I'm going. But you know, I'm careful and mindful of my routes, where I travel. You know where I'm going. You you have to be mindful of that um the people I'm around. You know where I'm going. Stuff like that. You you have to be mindful. There's more, you know, teens out here driving now. A lot of you know young adults. You know single mom. You know they they they, they have to they have to commute. They have to um take care of their family the best way they know how. You know what I'm saying. But just just be safe. You know know your routes. You know. Know the people that that's, that come into your home. Know the people that you're you're trying to connect with or do your research. You just have to do you have to always sometimes you have to use your gut. That's why, you know, we still have to incorporate prayer in everything that we do. Because, you know, through prayer, God will show us, you know, something not right. We have that um gut and intuition, all that helps. You know, so we still we can't just negate that and just go on with society and not incorporate that into our lives. We have to do that. We got to be safe. We got to use all our five senses. We have to, you know, use that intuitive ability just to, just to scan our environment and just to see, you know, something is just safe. You know, a lot of things are not safe. And even though we see it on the news and we hear it abroad, but that stuff can easily... Um, seep into our environment you know so we got to be prepared you know we to take your precautions you know to get your ladies and men or whoever take self-defense classes we, we really have to do that now we got we might have to train our kids take your classes know how to protect yourself just in case you're out be careful you know as you travel you know um just, just be careful, guys. You know, we in these times now. We, we, got, we constantly got to watch our back. We constantly got to watch over our shoulders. And even after we pray, God say, don't cast away your common sense. So that means if something looks suspicious, something don't look right, something walk like a duck, quack like a duck, it's a duck. Guys, use, use that heightened ability that, that the good Lord gave us, guys. We got, we got to be mindful of our surroundings, where we going, who we around know what we what we're about to do we have to your weapons your self-defense tactics you know have that stuff you got young kids you got kid curious kids put that stuff away have it to where you know where it is you won't confuse yourself but don't have it in the reach of kids and, and teach talk to your kids about violence about how to protect themselves like when i was in college like as i, I drove like my senior year I, I rarely drove by myself unless I'm, you know, going home for the weekend or something like that. But I'm all I was always with some with a friend or two, you know, being a old lady or being, you know, a young woman, young adult at that time. I always had company. You know, you have kids, you know, like right now they may not be on campus due to the virus. But even if they're just just out, you know, shopping, doing something for the family, I always kind of teach them to always try to uh, travel in pairs you know teach them like not not to you know try to be in pairs have a, a activated cell phone always have that you know try to it's, it's, cell phones are good too try to make sure you know they have their cell phones on them make sure if, if you have a prepaid plan or whatever you have keep minutes on it that's that's a that's a priority as well that's a must that's a, you know we need that Make sure they have a way of communicating and talking with you. You know, if something happened or they are in danger, they need to know who to reach out to, who to call. You know, it's good to have those things. And also, if they're your young, your young teen or adult or whatever, if they're driving, they have a car, make sure their car is in good condition. You know, make sure the tires, everything's good. Don't have them commuting and traveling and their car, you know their car is not um, sufficient enough. Make sure that their car runs good. Oil is in the car. Teach them 
know how to take care of their car, you keep their car in maintenance. You know, if, if you can't afford it, you don't need to get them a car. I'm, I'm just being real. If you can't afford to keep up with maintenance and make sure that they're just not because everybody else is doing, you have to be able to maintain that stuff. You know, if they have cars or whatever they have, make sure they're good for the, for the road. You know, if you, especially you got young teens, girls, daughters, whatever, they need to be um, efficient out here traveling. You know they need to make they need to have their cell phones they need to know they don't they need to know about about alternate route just in case if the gps or, or something um doesn't work they need to know it's a safe route to get home they need to know all your routes really you know you got to be safe stuff that doesn't look right try to avoid teach them about avoiding you know i guess i'm gonna say bad people but watching their friends, picking and choosing friends wisely. You have some people, they're not trying to do nothing in life. They're not trying to go anywhere. They're not trying to educate themselves. They're not trying to do nothing but where they at. You have to like teach your kids to be selective on who they're hanging with. You know, um, cause that stuff, you can't just hang with anybody. You have to teach them that, not teach them not to be better than anybody now. We don't teach them to look down and to snob anybody. But teach them how to choose friends. Teach them that early. So they'll they'll have that instilled in them when they get older. You know, you have to teach those things early. You know, how to choose friends. You know, how to choose how to be safe. Guys, we have to do it. And um speaking of safety, guys, um, we have to be more cognizant about uh, about masks, you know, wearing our masks, about protecting ourselves various. Guys, um, you know, we you know we got friends and family that we don't see every day. We, we love to see them, you know. We want to stay in touch. We might want to lay eyes on them. Have your protective gear. Have your mask, gloves, or whatever you need. You don't know a lot of people are asymptomatic carriers. Um, they don't they're not sick with it, but they're carriers because these numbers are increasing. Be careful. Be careful with body contact. You know, you might have to do something. You might have to give them the pound, the elbow, or something. Be careful with that, guys. But, you know, a lot of stuff is is carried on products, on the hair, the hair we buy. You know, the the anything um going into stores. You don't know. You know, people. That stuff. You know, people may not take the proper the, the proper precautions in their home and you're visiting their homes you know just be careful visiting and you know um you'll set your boundaries when you're you know visiting people around people just set just be careful guys you know these numbers are increasing we got to um be mindful you in close quarters with people to have on your mask um just in case somebody cough, you can you can already be covered. Like just be careful, guys. We got we can't keep stressing enough. You know, um, hugging, touching, stuff like that. You just got um, going in people homes, close close quarters. Just be careful with that. You know, um, be mind mindful of our elderly people. You know, and people that may have underlying symptoms. Like be even if you feel like you're healthy. Be mindful of your elders. Be mindful, you know, because they may not be as well. You know, you want to protect, you really want to protect them and your loved ones. If you don't, if you feel like you healthy and strong or whatever, protect the people around you. We got to look out for one another, we, you know, with that. And we got to be safe. Look out for one another, guys. Um, guys, you know, I just, those are some of the things I just want to talk about on this morning, guys. And guys, I just want you to keep certain things in mind. Just keep an eye, ear out on what's going on in our community. Teach your kids early. You know, you be safe as well. You um, you know, watch your back, watch your surroundings. Any, you know, just be aware of what's going on around you. Be aware. Be cognizant of what's going on. Just be careful, guys. We in these times now. I'm afraid, you know, guys. We we basically like in the last days. You know, I um, cut I cut up and joke around a lot, guys. But really, 
you know, I, I do have a relationship with God. I do. And God, y'all, we in the, it, the signs are here. The signs and wonders are here, guys. And we got to be just be mindful. We got to take time out to breathe and be mindful and just see and just pay attention to what's going on. Pay attention. You know, we got to just, just, just stay woke, guys. We got to. Uh, so I just wanted to, um, sh you know, shed light on that. Just want to talk about that this morning. Just want to keep you informed, guys. Um, just be blessed. Just, just be cognizant of what's going on. Um, just stay in the light, guys. That's all I got to say on this morning, guys. Just I'll talk to you soon, guys. I'm signing out, guys. Thank, you. thanks for listening. Bye, bye.